five. <laughs> well, hey everybody. We just got back from, well, a rather long vacation. Oh, the camera's up there. Are we on Instagram? Yeah, we're on the, the Instagrams. Instagram. So we're doing a Instagram live. Hello everybody. Hi, hi, hi. So this is, uh, we do this like all the time. It's the mix up a whole bunch of keto chow because well, I drink it, Miriam drinks it, two of our daughters drink it, and most of our kids drink it all the time. So we're gonna make 24 with melted butter. So, and hello everybody. Hello. So if you got questions, ask them. Otherwise, we're just gonna be mixing up a whole bunch of keto chow. So Miriam already has. So what, what we're doing is we're doing keto chow, like I said. We're doing a stick and a half of butter to make three meals of keto chow with butter. Um, I've got a whole bunch of warm water right here. We're using a water pitcher and an immersion blender. It looks like uh, D. Macroche something. Got her drops. Awesome sauce. Okay, so I got the water. And add the a little butter. Bit of water in the bottom. Yeah, there's a little bit of water in the bottom to start, just so that I don't know, it maybe doesn't stick to the bottom. And Miriam's gonna take that, put three more. Well, put a stick and a half of butter into it. Which is gonna be three keto chow. Yeah, three meals of keto chow worth. So I'm gonna add three scoops. What immersion blender do you use? I'm using a Breville. Do we have that on our favorite things page? We do. Um, you can get it on Amazon. I probably shouldn't be touching that when it's plugged in. Um, yeah, it's on. like 80 bucks. But this yeah, immersion amazing. blender is amazing. It's built like a tank. We've been using it for... Five years? No, it's like two or three. It's been a long time. Yeah, but we've, I haven't, we've I haven't been doing... have gone through quite a few immersion blenders, though. Yeah, but this one's a champ. Um, it works really good. Well, thank you. I saw it detaches. It does. And there's a whisk there's attachment, a whisk. so you can make um, whipped cream. Whipped cream, it's fantastic. Best brand in anything. <laughs> there you go. All right, so, and you'll see me washing this off. Anyway, so I'm gonna put three scoops of keto chow into here, um, and then the rest of the water. You'll see that. So, one scoop. Are you, you're doing chocolate. Yeah, I'm doing chocolate right now. So, I do a scoop. And then I use the side of the bag to level it off. Two, three, okay, that's chocolate. I'm gonna add a bunch of water, kind of break it up a bit. And the side, my, uh, this has a, a line on the two, a two quart mark. So, with a fancy marker. With a fancy marker. So now I'm just gonna blend this up a little bit and then, well, you'll see. Okay, got a little bit blend up. There's always stuff on the top of the immersion blender. So I'm going to pour water on there to get it off until I get to the two quart mark. Because two quarts is about how thick I like three keto chows. Now I'm going to blend this up again to get the chunks and to get the stuff off the side. I'm actually going to go around the side, you'll see that. going to pour it into three blender bottles that we have sitting around. Now you could drink it, actually you'll fill it up to right there. Um, you could drink it right now, warm like that, and it's fantastic. It tastes like hot chocolate, it's amazing. Um, but we're going to put these into the fridge and, well, they're going to cool off. The butter won't separate because the, the fiber that we're using, it's called acacia gum, the fiber prevents it from separating. It's really cool stuff. I'm gonna rinse this off really quick. Now this is the way that you can make a whole bunch of these at a time. Stick them in the fridge though. 
Well, with butter, they'll last, oh heck, they'll last like eight days before they start to go bad. We tell everybody six days. Yeah, six days is a good safe medium. If you're using heavy cream, they usually last about six days. If you're using butter or, or avocado oil, it's more like eight or nine. It's got a, like a hair right here that's sticking up. It looks awesome. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, we're just going to stick all these in the fridge and let them cool off. Later on, we can heat them up if we want to, or we can just drink them cold. And the butter will keep it from separating. Now, Scott wants to know, why are we using warm water instead of cold water if you're going to put it in the fridge anyway? Excuse me. Oh, dang. It's just a little bit of butter. And a little bit that we lost, it's so sad. Um, now the reason that we're using warm water is because if you use cold water with the melted butter, it, it just turns it right into globs of butter. It solidifies the butter almost immediately. Now if you're doing a similar thing like this and you're using a heavy cream, you don't need to use warm water. If you wanted to use coconut oil, melted coconut oil, you'd have to use warm water. Um, Avocado oil, you wouldn't need warm water. It's just hard fats. Sorry, like there is a garbage can right there. There is a garbage can right there. Using hard fats like butter and coconut oil, you need warm water and you need the, the hard fat melted. Uh, but then at that point, once it's mixed, once it's been incorporated, it will stay mixed. It never separates out as long as it was warm when you mixed it up with the blender. In this case, I'm using an immersion blender. So once again, I've got a Two quart pitcher, line on the side. Well, it's a gallon pitcher. I got a two quart line on the side. I'm gonna add a little bit. Now? Uh, yeah, it's gonna be chocolate toffee. And chocolate toffee, I was getting now near, near the end of the bag, so I measured it out ahead of time to make sure I actually had enough to be three. Put it in a three. fancy, smancy cup. Fancy, smancy cup. It's fancy. Um, so I'll just dump that in there. You got the butter? Yeah. Sweet. Got the butter. Okay, it's still a little chunky butter. Yeah, because it was frozen, so. It was frozen. I would advise you to let it come to refrigerator temperature. First. Yeah, it's a little bit easier to melt. Okay. You can use that thing. Um, okay, so I've got the butter in there with a little bit of water. I'm gonna get my immersion blender ready. Um, three scoops of keto chow, because we're doing three meals at a time. Um, and then I'm gonna add the water and hit it with the blender. The chocolate toffee with butter is amazing. Actually, pretty much all of the flavors I've tried with butter are absolutely amazing. Even things like root beer and the uh, raspberry cheesecake are amazing with butter. Okay, once again, there's a two quart line. I'm gonna pour water over this to get any chunks off. All right, two quarts. Now I'm going to go around the outside to get any stuff that's stuck to the side. Mix, mix, mix. If you're having any problems with Kyo Chao with it um, being a little clumpy, using an immersion blender, using warm water, solves pretty much all of those. And then at that point, you might as well do butter anyway because it's amazing. Um, the flavor is so much better with butter. The texture is good with butter. It doesn't mix up quite as thick is the only issue with butter as compared to heavy cream. Uh, but it has zero carbs. The fatty acid profile is much better too. Um, and I did a, an experiment where I did uh, a hundred days of just keto chow with different types of fat um, and near the end I did butter which was amazing um, that's where I learned that you could do it this way oh, I didn't rinse that out I'm gonna do Snickers on that um, but that's when I learned I, I had blood tests that I was doing at the time and the results that I got using butter were so much better than anything else um, I put a teaspoon of Dutch unsweetened cocoa powder with the it was heavenly. Ooh, that sounds yummy. That is good. Um, you can also do that to the cookies and cream or to the vanilla. Um, it really works. Adding stuff to the keto chow works really well. I, 
I kind of go with just doing them straight up the way that they are. And a lot of that has to do with all the flavors. All Well, we have 21 flavors now. Um, all but two of them were, were ones that I specifically wanted. Uh, the, the two that were kind of weird flavor, well, not weren't weird flavors. The two that my wife told me I had to release. Have to. Absolutely mandatory was the chocolate toffee and the raspberry cheesecake. She told me I had no choice and both of them are amazing. All the other flavors were, I want this, I'm gonna make this. So, I like them all. So this is Snickerdoodle. Um, by itself, it tastes like a buttery cookie covered in cinnamon. Uh, you mix it up with salted butter, and it's even better. It's amazing. So, that's more water. That's a little bit more water. Hit it with the blender. Allow the rinse repeat. And the cool thing is, even though that butter was a bit chunky, uh, once you hit it with the blender and you've got the warm water in there too, it finishes. It finishes it off. So now I'm going to stir it up again. Make sure I go around the side. Added cherry extract of vanilla. It reminded me of Ben and Jerry. Uh, yeah, Miriam, you should grab the uh, OOO flavors if you get a chance. Do we need more? No, I just changed you for room t for fridge butter instead of frozen butter. Oh, do we have fridge butter? Yeah. We oh, I didn't know that we did. Okay. <laughs> Just making a stack of these over on the other counter. I'm just gonna go put them in the fridge in a minute. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, eggnog. I'm gonna do eggnog next. Um, and like I was saying about butter, the cool thing is, another cool thing about butter is it stores really well. Um, with uh, heavy cream, once you open the heavy cream, it starts to go bad after like a week or so. Um, which I mean, that kind of sucks. Butter, especially salted butter, it just stores like forever. Um, what do you do? What did you do while we were on the cruise? So, oh, so awesome. We started off, we went to um, New York City. Well, because it was, the cruise was departing from Newark, New Jersey, which is kind of weird, but whatever. Um, let's see, have yet to try by Keto Chab. We've been very interested in watching your page. What's a great flavor to start off with? Chocolate. Chocolate. By far. Best one to start off with. It's the best one to finish with, too. Um, so I've done just chocolate every day, three meals a day for like two weeks in a row and didn't get bored of it. Um, just because it, it's just a really good flavor. It tastes, it tastes like a Wendy's Frosty. That's pretty much it. Uh, that's period. End of story. Um, do you recommend salted or unsalted butter? I personally like the additional salt of the of the salted butter. And we're not using grass-fed butter or anything like that. Um, if you like the flavor of grass-fed butter better, go for it. But don't feel like you have to do grass-fed. If you can afford it and you like it, go for it. If you can't and all you can find is regular butter, don't worry about it. That works just fine. It's so much better than any other thing that you could do. Um, it's like 99% of the way there. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, so chocolate tastes like a Wendy's Frosty. On the cruise. So, as Miriam's putting those away, actually, I'm gonna pause for a second and put the eggnog in here. I'm a, I'm a bit of a fiend for eggnog, and I don't care that it's ju June now. I was gonna say July. I still like eggnog year round because I'm that way. It's June, it's your birthday. It's not my birthday yet. Come on. It's my birthday month. There you go. 
All right. So when we were on the cruise, so it left from well, we, we first went to New York City, which was fun. Uh, we spent a day taking one of those buses around the city, the the tour buses, uh, the open top whatever tour buses. Um, we got to see the Empire State Building. We got to see go around all of Lower Manhattan. And then we did, went out to the uh, Empire, uh, Empire State Building, Statue of Liberty, and came back. And then the skies opened up and it rained on it us. Was... <laughs> Sorry, catch you off. <laughs> you, you have to mix it up kind of quickly to prevent it from clumping. So, sorry. This is so, I'm going around the side. People keep on saying, how old are you? And I keep saying 42. And then my wife reminds me, I'm not 42 yet. Not yet. I will be in Five uh, later this month. It's not next to the week after. Right? Yeah. I will be at the girls' camp with a bunch oh, of my daughters. Oh, I forgot. Are you going to go home? No, I'm just going up for one. I'm going up Wednesday morning and staying until Thursday morning. So... I'm going on day 14 of literally nothing but vanilla keto chow. I think I'm going to have to buy some chocolate tonight to switch it up. You can yeah. do that or right. add some cocoa powder. Add some. Um, we have an a employee who likes to throw in a couple of berries into their vanilla and uh, hit it with a blender, just like a couple blueberries. It's just enough to, get, to add some flavor and add some, I guess, spice to it. Uh, do you mix only? Do you only mix yours with the fat and the water? Can you use almond milk? You can use unsweetened almond milk. Um, my dad, he actually prefers the Great Value, the Sam's, uh, the Walmart brand almond milk, and he likes the flavor that it gives it. Um, almond milk by itself has very few calories. Um, you could not just use almond milk. If you wanted to, oh my nose is just. If you wanted to have it be a complete meal, so you would need a fat source. Don't fear the fat. That's what you do on keto. Let's see. Does the butter? Ah, does the butter solidify and get chunky when you store them in the fridge? No. So I explained that earlier, but that's okay. You probably just joined. So we're using warm water and we're using melted butter. And the fiber that's in keto chow, the uh, acacia gum, acts as an emulsifier and prevents it from separating out. Um, the acacia gum is also really cool because you can't metabolize it, but your gut bacteria can. Uh, I'm gonna do raspberry cheese right now. And when your gut bacteria metabolizes it, one of the things it turns the fiber into is butyrate and other short chain fatty acids, um, which your gut lining loves. In fact, your your gut lining will take the butyrate and metabolize that into beta hydroxybutyrate. What? Also known as BHB, also known as one of the main ketones that you're using. Never considered cocoa powder? We'll try that tomorrow. I tried candy extracts, but can, can barely taste the flavor. So we like to use O O O flavors. No, O O O flavor extracts. I find that about twelve drops of O O O is about the amount that I need to flavor vanilla. Hold on, so here's a couple. While we're Apple, and then this one. I like the Fuji this apple. This one says girly cookies cocoa mint. <laughs> <laughs> like, and it's not opened it. because we have a chocolate mint flavor. That's right. but anyway, they're, they're fun. We don't use them very often, but. Mixing it up. Mixing it up. Key lime pie, indeed. We get a lot of 
people saying, hey, when, um, when are you guys coming out with new flavors? You should make blah, blah, blah. blah, blah, blah. And we can only have so many flavors. We have 21 flavors. Uh, how much are the OOO flavors? You, you're the one that bought them, Miriam. Do you remember how much oh, they cost? they're like four bucks. Oh, they're four so, bucks? They're super cheap, and they always throw in a little tiny one. Yeah, well... Let me show you that. Here, you do that part. Okay. So I'm just pouring them into these, these blender bottles and we'll stick these in the fridge um, just so that they keep longer because this, so we're making 24 meals. Um, by myself, that would last me eight days, but I'm not the only one who drinks the keto chow, chow around here. My kids Look tend to drink cute. it. Pink so does. It's so cute. Well, and that's the funny thing about the uh, raspberry cheesecake. We're using a, a natural, natural flavor, a natural color. So it starts off pink and looks like really awesome. The problem is the acidity, because we have uh, potassium citrate and a bunch of other stuff, it will take it from a really nice pink to kind of a dull gray. It's like a purple, it's like a purpley gray. <laughs> it'll, it'll take it to that after about, uh, about six hours. Yeah, a couple hours. Okay, here's the regular size banana nut bread. And then here, like you can compare, this is a free sample. Like, so is it's it just cornbread? Candy corn, free sample. Oh, candy Look, corn. It's almost the same size. And then this red licorice, which I've never tried oh, either. Oh, I didn't but, know we had that. Yeah. I haven't opened hardly any of them. You've only used them. I've never even used them. Oh, you haven't? I just keep ordering them thinking about someday. <laughs> but anyway, they'll, they'll give you a free sample, and it's like $4.99 or something. And Anyway, they're fun. But you can, you can make pretty much... I mean, people are like, you guys should have a Fruity Pebbles flavor of Keto Chow. And I'm like, uh, I wouldn't sell very well. There's totally a Fruity Pebbles OOO flavor that you can add to the vanilla. It works amazing. Um, anyway, so speaking about my kids, um, there was a... Fruity Pebbles. What's that? No, I was talking about that these, the 24 that we're making should last me eight days, but because... Well, tomorrow morning, well, no, we made lasagna. We made keto, I, I took a nap. <laughs> Miriam made keto lasagna with Haley tonight. Yeah, it was awesome. Um, it's our favorite recipe, just like the real thing, lasagna. By, by peace, love, and low carb. Yeah, so peace, love, and low carb lasagna. If you do Google search for that, you'll find it. Yeah, but the title is just like the real thing. Just like the real thing lasagna. I think it's better than the real thing. But we have a new name. You want to tell them Oh, about yes. That? We now call it pizza cake. Pizza cake. Because <laughs> <laughs> one of my, the daughter who was helping make it, she's like, you know, lasagna is basically just pizza, pizza stacked, on top, of stacked on top of each other. Hey, there she is. Oh, pizza stacked on top of each other. Uh, and it looks like a cake. So lasagna is now pizza cake. It's pizza cake. <laughs> it's totally Put pizza cake. Put your face cake. in here. Oh, show them your braids. Hi, my braids. Yeah, because we went to Nessa in the Bahamas, and they got her and her twin got their hair braided. So now we're gonna make chocolate peanut butter. Hey, Chris, any chance you can reveal what the flavor of the week will be for next week? As in tomorrow? Uh, as in tomorrow? I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but I will tell you that it's what one it of is? the ones that we're making tonight. Ooh. So, and it's not chocolate peanut butter. I'll tell you that much. But one of the ones that we made tonight is it's that one. Do we have one chocolate mints? Haley hey. eats all the chocolate mints. Anytime that we have you chocolate need to start mint, charging her. Well, that's the thing. So I would prefer that my kids have keto chow over just about anything else. Now, there is leftover that's not true. Steak. meat cake. Okay, I know. Steak. Pizza there is, cake. There is leftover pizza cake. Lasagna. <laughs> Um, that the kids are probably going to demolish for breakfast tomorrow. Um, but other than that, now that they're out of school, they're going to be drinking keto chow a lot in the mornings for breakfast. They'll be like, what, what can I have? And I'm like, I don't know. Can I have keto chow? Yes, that's why we made it. There we go. Facebook support group ask if we ah, can yes. give it to kids and just so you know we do not 
recommend that you give it to children. It's it not, is not indicated. Yeah, it's not for there, so children. It's, it's for adults. So if you want to give it to kids, that's your prerogative. You decide. Uh, you can give them less, but the mineral content is for kids. I mean, it's for adults. Blah, blah, blah. But... Now here's the thing, if you have dietary concerns, nutrition concerns about anything, you should talk to your pediatrician and show them the information. That said, I find it terribly ironic that people are worried about giving keto chow, which is designed for optimal human nutrition, to kids and think absolutely nothing. It's, it's, they don't even consider how crazy it is to give dinosaur chicken nuggets or macaroni and cheese to their kids. And Cheetos. Or Cheetos. Or an entire bag of nachos. But Keto Chow is the suspect one. It's a little crazy, but hold on a second. Okay. So that's my soapbox. Got some questions. Some Hold off my order since all the flavors you're making look good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, we haven't made the banana yet. And the funny thing is, that I, I did not have high hopes for the banana with uh, salted butter. It just didn't sound very enticing. Yeah. And it turns out it's really good. So is the um, the root beer float with salted this butter. Smells really good. Smells the like chocolate peanut, peanut butter? butter. Well, yeah, it's chocolate peanut butter. It's been a long time. Like Let's see. So, anyway, today, this is new to Keto Chow. Haven't been enjoying my samples this past week. Cool. Welcome. The truth, I remember the post. <laughs> or fruit snacks. Yeah, we give our kids fruit snacks, yeah, which are just sugar. candy. I mean, even the ones that are, like, made from just Joe, pure fruit. Real fruit. Still. Okay, it's still fructose. It's still going to give you fatty liver disease. And yet, Keto Chow is the one that's suspect. Let me get off my soapbox. Oh, we only have two left. Salted caramel. That's backwards because it's... Let's see. Instagram. Gonna have to try y'all stuff because Dr. Barry seems to love y'all. Oh, we actually just nice. hung out with Dr. Yeah, Barry and Nisha. With him. So we were on the, the Keto Cruise. Sorry, I only got part of the way through. So we went to New York. Then we got on the cruise. Um, we cruised for a day. Where we had some classes associated, oh, I need some water in there, associated with the cruise, because it's kind of like going to a conference yeah. that just happens to be on a cruise ship. So we met Debbie Potts and mm -hmm. Stephanie Holbrook. Yep. That they both spoke that day. TC. Um, TC Christensen didn't speak that day. I mean, Christensen. Yeah. TC Hale. TC Hale. I was anyway, about to say Christensen. Stephanie Holbrook and De Debbie Potts are endurance athlete trainer people. They're yeah. so cool. I need the butter. You need the butter. I do. Here you go. Butter, butter. Well, they talked. They did a really good job. Um, just a, a lot of really, really good Everybody did posts. wonderful. Um, Jimmy Moore is going to be posting the recordings, the audio recordings of on all the podcast. talks. Yeah, on his podcast. Um, let's see. How long will they keep in the fridge? So, we. I generally... Don't like to go more than uh, six days in the fridge, just because if you make them with heavy cream, they start to get a little weird after six days, depending on how new your um, heavy cream is. But making them with butter, they'll last like eight or nine days in the fridge, just sitting there, hanging out, chilling. Um, and then you can just grab them whenever you want. Got to blend this up really quick. Okay. over there on the big counter and he said but then I have to wash stuff off so I'm trying to figure out if we should next time do it over there and just oh sorry no it's, it's good okay that's no. good um, and then just walk back and forth and that's gonna be annoying or is it annoying having us like half in the screen and half out yeah that's the problem with immersion blenders you get it a little bit too high and it pew, and it gets all the way on the top most cover. of it yeah. went on my arm Anyway, hold on, I gave, I gave a few more clumps. You 
want to get all the clubs out. Let's see. Somebody else asked questions. Found the Kyo Chiao thing for Sandra. Nice. Can't wait. Must yeah, we must. love Sandra. Oh, you're coming to KetoCon. Sweet. Yes, we'll see you there. Yeah, we are going to hey, be at KetoCon. Hey, if you're at KetoCon and you give us a secret word, we'll give you a free sample. Do you remember what the secret word is? No. Nah. Keto is king. Keto is king? Yeah. Oh. Okay. So come see us. Apparently this was planned without my input. It's okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> first time catching a live, just tell him to move. You're the star. <laughs> Aww, you're so I nice. agree. Let's I actually see. think he's the star because he's cuter than me. Okay. But we like each other, so isn't I that know. Right? Okay, so takeaway. So from the conference, the cruise that we went on, my takeaway is I'm going to be nicer to myself. Oh, yeah. Because you know what? I have a body. It, it works. works. It carries me around. Your A1C is great. I am healthy. And you know what? So I need to lose a little bit of weight. I mean fat. I need to lose fat. a little bit of yes. fat. You're not losing weight. I am still fat. a good person. And I need to treat my body better. The chicken's on a trampoline. Shh. That's not. You just broke my cool, awesome so inspiration of myself. I'm sorry, but you've okay. thrown off the emperor's <laughs> groove. <laughs> anyway. Let's see. That's my takeaway. Normal life running around. <laughs> okay, Kate went to get the, the chicken up. <laughs> awesome. Um, let's see. Yeah, so we did the cruise for a day. As we went from New Jersey down to Florida. Then we were in um, Port Canaveral, which is by Orlando. Um, we just went to... Uh, we went to... Uh, Kennedy, Kennedy Space, Space Center. Center. We saw really a bunch cool. of this stuff. That was really cool. Um, then we headed back to the ship. What? Went to Miami while we were sleeping. Um, then we we just went to Miami Beach. So are you putting in a stick and a half of butter into the three servings? Yes. That is what we're doing. And that's... I actually need a little bit more for my calorie goal, but that leaves me a little bit of room for string cheese. And because my kids and my wife are going to be drinking probably most of these, um, I hope so. That means that it fits it fits their calorie goals pretty well. Did you finish these? Ones? So what flavors are we doing? We we did salted caramel, peanut butter, raspberry cheesecake, chocolate. snickerdoodle, chocolate, eggnog, and now we're doing banana. So we're doing eight different flavors, three of each, twenty-four total. Um, and that meant that we went through 12 sticks of butter. Yeah, we could do some more <laughs> chocolate. Do you want to do some more chocolate? We could do some more chocolate. Chocolate's always good. Chocolate is a crowd favorite. Everybody loves chocolate. And the one weird thing about chocolate, um, the cocoa powder in it, if you mix up keto chow cold, and you use like heavy cream or avocado oil, it'll, it won't separate. The chocolate powder separates but only if you use warm water. If you heat it up at all, it'll separate, the chocolate will. Otherwise it won't. And so in the morning, we'll go out to the fridge and the chocolate, you'll have a layer of like floating cocoa powder that's on the bottom. But it shakes up. But you just shake it up and it's fine. Uh, do you leave the metal ball in the shaker? Yes, we do, and for that reason. Um, the pumpkin spice caramel, it's separate, the, the spice sinks to the bottom. Excuse me. And the same thing happens to the uh, snickerdoodle and the eggnog. How many kids do you have? 27. Okay. Six. <laughs> no, we do not. Okay. Easier, easiest way to explain this is we had twins. And then we had a singleton. And then we had twins. And then we had a singleton. So they're just kind of running around. And we cheated. But we saved $10,000 on maternity deductibles. So... So yeah. we have six. Yes, we in have six. In case, you didn't, in case you couldn't count, that's how many we have. Let's see. By the way, um, Keto at Tiffany says, preach it. We should all think the same way. And there was a really good um, presentation by, what was her name? What was her name? Um, Coach Lauren Berryhill. Lauren Berryhill? Okay. Yeah, she was talking about... Um, body dysmorphia, right? Yes, body dysmorphia. So... Fantastic presentation. You guys look her up and follow her. Um, Robert Sykes, the Keto Savage, has 
the recording, the video recording of her presentation up on his YouTube channel. Oh, Check yeah. it out. Yeah. So good. And she's adorable. Yeah, she is. She's also very short. And adorable. <laughs> and adorable. Her hair is Let's so see. cute. Uh, chocolate. It's over here. Sorry. Oh, no, you got to finish the Oh, banana. I got to do banana. That's right. We could do chocolate banana. Uh, how about banana and chocolate? Bye. This is why we can't have nice things. Are you labeled a banana this time? Yeah, come write banana on some tape. <laughs> so that's one of the problems. Jane apparently with... doesn't like banana. Yeah. But that's one of the issues with uh, mixing up a whole bunch like this, is a lot of them are just kind of yellowish beige. Um, and when they're all in there together, it's like, what am I going to get? Pop it open, it's like, I got banana, or I got salted caramel, or... I know the only ones you can tell is chocolate, orange uh, cream, orange cream, mint, and, yeah, uh, mint, you can definitely tell. It's green. Raspberry cheesecake. <laughs> yeah. Raspberry cheesecake. It does, actually. Banana with salted caramel. Banana with salted butter. Gonna buy chocolate on payday. That's what uh, Jewel Rod's 23 or something. Sorry. Yeah, chocolate <laughs> on payday. Oh, I okay. should put the butter in. Sorry, I'm Yeah, you should shirkin. 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 I'm gonna Sonic Flame! Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna get the rest of the clumps here. Ah! Sorry. It's gonna make noise again. I'm gonna go around the outside. I'm gonna spray myself again. And you can just mix these up one at a time in a blender bottle. Um, that works really well if you're just doing like three, four, ten, something like that. Three, four, ten. <laughs> three, four, ten. One, two, five. Three, sir. Three. Um, but if you're doing a whole bunch, this is a much more efficient method of doing them. Because you can just crank through them. And if you're, well, if your whole family is doing, doing keto chow, it works really well. Let's see. Ooh, have you mixed powders? I'm thinking uh, I should have brought strawberry to make strawberry banana. I have done strawberry banana. It was really good. I've done um, strawberry, um, chocolate and banana. That was also really good. Um, and usually what I do is I'll mix up the, the liquid and then mix those together. Like I'll, oh, this is a Breville immersion blender. They're terribly expensive. They're like 80 bucks. But they're they're built like tanks. We had a discussion about this earlier. We've had it for about three years. Um, it also has like a food processor attachment, which I've never used, and a oh, whisk yeah. attachment. I about that. Yeah, and it has a whisk attachment that we use all the time to make whipped cream. Works amazing. Oh, well, I make waffles. How many calories does your wife eat daily, and is she maintaining or actively losing still? I'm yes. stalling. On twelve to fourteen hundred. Well, how tall are you? Yeah, that's another thing is your your height and things like that. If you could be having too little fat too, that and that's it's counterintuitive. It's the thing. It's it's frustrating because you're like, oh, I need to cut calories, cut whatever, and make it smaller so I'll lose weight. But then if you eat too little, then your body's not going to release the fat. You're going to say, oh, I, yeah. I want to keep this. Well, because your body knows the difference between starvation. And it knows the difference between there's a little bit less fat than I need, so I'll take it out of storage. It also knows the difference between starvation and fasting. Fasting is a completely different metabolic state, and your body knows how to handle that. With starvation, it's like, crap, when am I going to get to eat? I have to hold on to everything. So if you eat too few, it'll crash your metabolism. Uh, thanks for making such an amazing product. I've got to... Have a nice chill weekend, just having this in a light meal. Usually I have to do a ton of food prepping. And so we, we just got back from the cruise, and I haven't had a keto chow in... Like almost two weeks, probably. It's close to two weeks. The last one I had was on Tuesday of two almost two weeks ago. It's been like 12 days. The nice thing about keto chow is it helps me reset. Yeah. I think because I, I notice when I drink keto chow, I don't have the bloating. Like, yeah. I, I just feel really good. Um, so, 
Yeah. It's really easy to overeat keto lasagna because it's amazing. Or as we like to call it now, meat cake. Meat cake. Or p- pizza cake. Pizza cake. I keep calling it meat cake. Hold on, I gotta get the chocolate. Um, let's see. Somebody had another question. There's one you can get from Amazon that's like $12. So uh, we have a whole bunch of different um, immersion blenders that we've gone through. And they usually work really well if you're doing like one or two batches of keto chow. If you're just going to be running it for about two or three minutes, they're fine. Dad, hey, I have a question. What's up, Kate? Where's the electrolyte drops? Um, we are actually out. I used all of them to fill up the little bottles for the cruise. I think we have some fasting drops. Uh oh. Look in the drawer. I already checked. Look in sure? the laundry room in the top cubby. I had some stuff for Lindsay to photograph. There might be some in there. There might be some in there. Yeah. Anyway, I have to hit this with water. Do it. Do it. I think I put three scoops in there. <laughs> we'll see. Um, anyway, but with this one, we've been running this constantly for I don't know how long this has been going on, but uh, it just keeps on going. It doesn't overheat. The bearings don't go out. Whereas when we go to like KetoCon, which we'll be doing later this month, sometimes we forget to bring our nice immersion blender and we just have to buy one at Walmart and usually buy like the fifth or sixth pitcher full. Pitcher full you start to hear the bearings go yeah, out. Yeah, it's sad. They kind of suck. They just can't go, 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 go. So hold on, I gotta get all this stuff. <laughs> We, last time I did a whole bunch of keto chow with just before the cruise. Well, not just before the cruise, but a week before the cruise. I think I did like 16 meals worth of just chocolate. I just did chocolate, 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 and nobody complained. It was great. Let's see. Bum, bum, bum. I should clarify I had three meals of keto chow and a light meal. That works. Um, I hope the light meal was some yeah. brisk. Now... A Vega 5XO wants to know, do you have to drink three shakes a day? No. no. No, you do not. You can. It's designed so that you can. Like if you have oral surgery and you can't have anything hard, it works really well for that. If you um, are doing a crazy experiment where the only thing you do for 100 days is eat keto chow, it works really well for that. But you don't have to. You can do it for one meal. You can do it for two meals. You can do it for three meals every once in a while just because you don't feel like cooking. It's however you want to do it. It just works as food. That's it. What'd you do? Bent your nail backwards? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, Miriam's making them click because <laughs> you don't want to shake them up without them closed all the way. So, yeah. Now, for beginners, um, if you're just starting off, you haven't ever made any keto chow. I would just recommend get a blender bottle. Okay, he wants to interrupt again. Look, I found this on your dresser. Turn it around and show it to him. We have these little rip packs, and we're, uh, yeah, we're going to sell them soon. It's an individual serving of our electrolyte drops. Uh, let's see. Sorry. So for beginners. Okay, so if you're just a beginner, I'd grab a blender bottle, put four ounces or a half cup of heavy cream in it. It's a half cup, yeah. Put a scoop of keto chow or a packet if you have a sample, and then fill it up with water to the 20 ounce line and shake it up really good. Stick it in the fridge, overnight's best. That's it. You can mix it up with butter, but you have to use warm water. You can mix it up with butter in a blender bottle. Um, Works really well, but if you're just starting off, try the heavy cream, see if that works. This is a little bit more advanced, but it works. The results with butter. The results with butter are just amazing. It's totally worth the extra effort. Um, yeah, let's see. Uh, three shakes a day. How much water butter you use to make one re- meal replacement? So we're that it differs according to what you like. We're using a half stick of butter because it's very easy to measure, and it fits my kids and my wife's um, 
nutrition requirements, which is, um, it's a, it ends up being about 530 calories a meal if you do a half stick of butter. Um, and then water, we're do, adding about 14 ounces to bring it up to 20 ounces total. Uh, let's see, I feel amazing, this seems to feel energetic, great. What do you suggest for beginners to talk? Uh, yeah, I think I saw three scoops go in, yes. Uh, Melina78 says, I'm so curious. Check out our site, it's so awesome. The chocolate is amazing, yes it is. It tastes like a Wendy's Frosty. Um, if, if it's cold, or if you mix it up with ice in the blender, it's amazing. If you mix it up warm, or you heat it up, it tastes exactly like like Swiss Miss hot chocolate is the easiest way to go. Uh, what cruise did you go on? I'm going on a cruise for 10 days and I can't wait. So we were <clears throat> with Royal Caribbean. Um, it was it, it was called the low carb cruise because our group was going on a cruise together and we, uh, but the cruise itself was not low carb, <laughs> not by any, yeah. any stretch of the imagination, but uh, I ate low carb the entire time. I didn't mess up at all, uh, just because. So they, they talked about this during some of the things. Yeah, Ken and uh, Kim did a whole live about it. Oh, did they? Yeah. About, oh, nice. Um, on vacation, not messing up. Nice. Well, because the so there are people who are moderators, which means that they can eat in moderation and just have like one treat. Then there are, are abstainers. I'm an abstainer. One is too many and 10 is not enough is the easiest way to say it. If I eat a little bit of stuff I'm not supposed to eat, I'm going to eat all of it. So I just don't. But other people, they do just fine. <clears throat> so for me, breakfast was pretty much omelets, bacon, bacon. Yeah, they had bacon. An omelet station. and they would make a, <clears throat> a giant thing of bacon, like a mound, I'm seriously this tall, and it'd be in like three places in the, in the breakfast area. <coughs> and we didn't even bother going to the fancy breakfast place. Yeah, we didn't even go once. But uh, would have been nice, but that's all right. doing we keto had our on kids a with us, yeah, so. doing keto on a cruise is it's as easy as doing keto at Anywhere a steak else. rest steakhouse. So you can do it; it's quite easy. And we didn't bother getting the uh, drink package. I just had water the whole time. So did Kate. So did Miriam. I had water the whole time. It was great. I had water with uh, salt in it. Check it out. Since I was on the cruise, I've gotten in the habit of carrying the salt in my pocket. <laughs> so ah. a little real salt in the it? hair. So cute. So Let's cute. See the Two dollars and eighteen cents online. Yeah, but you can just keep on refilling it. Yeah, with the big real salt. Let's see. And we've gone on cruises on uh, uh, Carnival, and it was just fine too. Really, they, they're very accommodating. We even went to, there was a pizza place, and they stopped doing it because they were too busy, but I was able to get them to throw down a bunch of pepperoni and cover it in cheese and then bake it in the oven and make a keto pizza-ish. Um, it was great. Let's see. I'll have my chow at 10 a.m. and it fills me till 3. There you go. I'm putting this in here. Oh, you go. Uh, sorry, another stupid question. Do they thicken up as they sit? No if question they become too is thick, stupid. Do you just add more water? No, there are stupid questions. Don't you think it's time you audited, audited my return? That's stupid. That's stupid. And don't you think it's morally wrong to give me a warning when I was, in fact, actually speeding? That's a stupid question. Also. What? Why would you say those things? I don't know, because they're stupid. <laughs> I'm just you, you said there's no such thing as a stupid question, and there are. Anyway, so it does thicken up a little bit if you use heavy cream. Um, with butter, I need to add the, I was just going to make a butter and water <laughs> shake. Yum. <laughs> Yummy. Um, with butter and avocado oil, it doesn't really thicken up a lot more. So if it does get, and so with like, let's say you're using heavy cream. It does thicken up a bit overnight, just sitting in the fridge. Um, and we get a lot of people who are like, oh, yeah, it's, it's good, but it's just so thick. Add more water. It's that easy. Uh, or they'll say, it's too salty. Add more water. It's that easy. <laughs> um, other people say, it's too sweet. Add um, some salt. You can add some salt or you can add more water. It's that easy. <laughs> and it tastes, it tastes good after about 15 minutes sitting there. It tastes better overnight. It tastes really, really good after like four or five days in the fridge. I'm gonna make noise now. I'm gonna pour water over this. Are we still making more? Uh, two more. Two more? Holy cow, we're making.
making a lot. Dang, I got my hand wet. Yeah. Can we mix some chocolate right now that we can put into those mugs and eat Greg's hot chocolate? Here. Yeah, we can there's some downstairs. <laughs> Hurry up, though. <laughs> hey, Haley wants hot chocolate, so let me answer some questions. Let's see. And yeah, you can drink it right away. When you, if you mix it up warm uh, and you're oh, using Haley, warm you water. Haley, you the cute mug. It's so cute. Oh yeah, after you get uh, added in there. Let's see, my dad is trying to gain weight. Could he drink a shake in the morning and then eat his regular meals throughout the day for that? So if you do keto, yeah, you just probably need to microwave it. Um, if you do keto in general, your body is going to go to a- Isn't this a cute one? She's so weird. Um, your body's gonna get to a healthy weight if you do a ketogenic diet. Um, if you do keto chow with high fat, Along with, um, whatchamacallit, <laughs> and you do it along with a regular high carb diet, it's probably not the best thing because sugar and fat together are not a good combination, at least as far as your heart is concerned. But, uh, I mean, you can do that. Here, here's the rest, Haley. I don't know where you want. Yeah, I mean, can I have some? Yeah, it's just in that little one right there. There you go. Awesome. Okay. You want to gain weight, you can just build muscle. You yeah. Want to build well, fat. yeah, let's see. Can you do this breastfeeding? That's a really good question. Keto Chow is not designed for pregnant breastfeeding or pregnant or breastfeeding women or children. That said, I don't. I don't know of anything in Keto Chow that is contraindicated, meaning shouldn't be used for breastfeeding women. But as with anything, please consult your doctor. Uh, take the, the nutrition information for Keto Chow with you, show it to your doctor, have a discussion with them. If they don't like keto at all, it's going to be a really fun conversation. Yeah. Um, but. The pregnancy one, reference them to the pregnancy talk that uh, Nisha And Now there's a, I don't, I think Ken recorded it. Yeah, he did. So it'll probably be up on um, Ken and Nisha's YouTube channel. So Nisha Berry, thank you, Kate, did a talk on the low carb cruise about what to eat while you're pregnant. And she's all about eating oysters. She's all about eating keto chow. She talked about different supplements that you should yeah. take too. Folate is one of them. Yeah. And now yeah. here's the interesting thing. We're not using folic acid in keto chow. We're using 5-methyl tetrahydrofolate, which is the right form. That's the form that humans actually have in their system that we need, that we use, as opposed to the precursor, which is folic acid. You want folate, 5-methyl tetrahydrofolate to be specific, and that's what we use. So there's nothing that says you shouldn't or couldn't use it when you're breastfeeding, but it's important that you talk to your doctor about this. So um, let's see, I found a sweet spot and used two tablespoons, which was a quarter cup. Uh, oh, my stupid thing keeps on popping up. Uh, cashew milk and water, perfect macros, right thickness, nice. Love butter and using coconut cream, which is delish. If you love coconut, that works amazingly. Um, you can also use coconut oil if you mix it up like with the butter. Um, I'm glad I can't have gluten because I think it's going to keep me low carb the whole time we're in the Royal Caribbean. There you go. I just got my baby salts. Oh, the, uh, nice. Oh, here. They're real salts. Yeah, the real salts. They're so nice. It looked amazing too, the keto pizza thing. Uh, how do you all come up with this? Uh, ask Nurse Cindy is, oh, she has many of the talks from the cruise on her Facebook page. Oh, yeah. Because she was she live streaming. Huh? Okay, so the, how we came up with this. So I'm an engineer. Um, a network. I drive trains. I, I drive trains. <laughs> hey, it's better than uh, driving a race car. Hey, uh, I'm sure race anyway. car drivers are cool. 
But uh, so I came up with the idea for keto chat because doing a ketogenic diet can be difficult to get the right nutrition. And I thought, hey, I, why don't I come up with something that I can just mix up and it can be fuel and it can that done. So I came up with a meal replacement shake because I am excessively lazy, also known as I'm incessantly optimizing things. Well, I gotta make noise now. So I came up with this for my own use. Turns out a bunch of other people are almost as lazy as I am. And they wanted to have optimal, complete nutrition easily as well. So you mix it up with water and a fat source, and that's it. That's all you need. Oh, we should use that one that they just emptied instead of one of these ones that's clean. <laughs> Just getting the stuff off the side of the she and can see You want to make sure you don't have any clumps left over. Let's see. What manufacturer of immersion blender? We're using a Breville immersion blender. Because it's built like a tank. It's on our favorite things page. Yeah. But it just... We just got it on Amazon. Yeah, just got it on Amazon. Works extremely well. Uh, oh, <laughs> Breezy and AZ says the keto pizza thing looked amazing. Uh, well, I'll just wait until you after I finish breastfeeding. Breast feeding. I only have two more months and it's on. Nice. Uh, sorry, <laughs> ask Nurse Cindy, not Nancy. <laughs> Nurse Nancy, there you go. Any tips for people that work in an office that have no time to blend? Uh, make it before Make it ahead of time. Like so, today, yeah, it's so. taking us like oh, an hour. Well, it's because we're talking we're most talking. of the time. Usually it takes like 20 minutes. But we're making. Do this many? It's at least 30. I'm actually not sure how many we've made so far. Yeah, we've made a lot. I think we actually probably made. Yeah, I don't know. We made a lot um, of keto chow. I think we made 11. Did you do another one? Oh my gosh, there's another one in here. I guess we're doing one more. One more. One more. Uno mas. Uh, but, okay, so we're mixing all these up now. They're going in the fridge, and they're going to be good for at least six days. Probably more like eight or nine, because we're using butter. In the morning, so tomorrow morning, um, I'll wake up, and I'll just go grab one out of the fridge. And that's all it takes. So that'll go in my backpack. You go to di um, go to work. You could grab two: one for breakfast, one for lunch. Go to work. Done. That's it. And then have a really delicious keto dinner with your family. Yep, we have a brisket thawing in the fridge right now. Yeah. So that'll actually be Wednesday's dinner. Yeah, Wednesday's dinner. Wednesday's dinner is full of whoa. Oh, no, that's uh, Wednesday's child. Uh, let's see. Yeah. So make them ahead of time. That's why we're prepping today on Sunday. Uh, let's see. Thank you. This is my, my first live, and I'm pretty much sold now. Cool. Woohoo! Uh, hey, we'll be at Austin. Come find us and give us the password Keto is King. Yeah. And we'll give you a free sample. If you're coming to KetoCon. Now, Chastity Keto loves Keto. keto. Uh, did I say, what did I say? Keto Fest, KetoCon? KetoCon. Okay. You can put that in the dishwasher. Okay. Um, because I, I stopped it. Oh, I don't think it'll fit. Oh, okay. Um, so okay. Chastity just said, you can mix it up the night before and put it into like a Yeti style container. Now, mm -hmm. one caveat. Oh, there. yeah, with the, with the vacuum yeah. flasks. So, with the vacuum flasks, which are you know, like this, got the cool, that's cool. Um, the issue with those is they will keep hot things hot, cold things cold, and room temperature things room temperature. So, if you mix up keto chow and stick it in one of those and put it in the fridge, it will never get cold. Like, never. It'll go really gross and nasty. Oh crap, I only have 26 seconds remaining. Um, anyway, I guess I gotta finish up. Anyway, put it into a container first and then pour it into the, um, the hydro flask or stuff. We will be at KetoCon, and we have some of the bottles on their site, yeah. Apparently this is as long as you can go. We must hey, have yeah. gone an hour. Okay, Third bye. Bye. See you later. Bye-bye. Yeah. More than a protein to complete meal. meal.